In this lesson, we're gonna create a custom pattern, a custom pattern that we can press on it to make something. And this pattern has many properties like disable or loading something. I mean, when we press on it to make loading until something is get done. So let's create this button component. First of all, first of all, we're gonna create a new file. Let's call it main button.tsx. And let's use this snippet rnfes to create a function component. It's a basic function component. Let's see what we have on this screen. Okay, let's add a touchable opacity. Touchable opacity to create this button clickable. And let's let's give him some styling. Style equals to styles. Styles dot count. Count is a shortcut for container. Count. We're gonna give it height and width 100 um, percent let's give him a border radius of eight and background color colors dot main color let's center the text justify content center and align items center Great, isn't it? Let's style this text. Styles, style equal styles dot button title text. Or let's make it title text. Let's give it a font size, font size of 16 and font weight Let's make it bold and give him a, a color of white. Colors dot white. Great, isn't it? Now this button, it doesn't make anything. So we have to use this property on press property. On press, let's get him a function console dot log dot log. For example, pressed. Now, when we click on this button, we can log pressed. But we want to make it a reusable component. So let's give on press, let's put it here as a property. Okay? So if we go to app to text, TSX, when we press on press, we're gonna fire this function, on press function. Fn. Look. And now let's give um, the the name of it is a main button. We want to to change it, to change his title. For example, title test or any title that we want. So let's give a, another property called title, and let's put it here. So we can change his title in the when we put it when we render it. For example, save. Now we can change his title and we can change uh, what he does do, what he do. Um, now let's add a loader. So let's add a new property called loading, for example, and Let's format this code using control K and F. Oops. Command K and F or control K and F using VS Code. And let's make this conditional rendering. If it's loading, let's render an activity indicator. And if it's not, Let's put it like this. Now, if we pass here a property called loading, uh, which equals true, 
Look, there's an activity indicator, but we have to give him a color. Color equals to colors to white. Look, now a button with a lure. We, ha we want to add a new property called disable. Disable. If this button is disabled, he doesn't do anything. Okay, how to do this? It's, very, it's pretty simple. In this on press function, we're gonna pass a function here and let's give it on press. Okay, and let's add disable equals to disable. If we disable this button, so let's remove this loading and add disable equals true. So this button is now is disabled. Look, if we remove it, now it's working. But if we disable it, it doesn't work. It doesn't make anything because it is disabled. One last thing I want to add in this component. I want when he is disabled, I want to change the opacity of it. How to do this? It's pretty simple. You look at this styling of touchable opacity, just add an array to add a new style. And this style is gonna be opacity, or let's, um, let's add, if it's disabled, let's add this styling, opacity of uh, one, no, no, let's make it four, or 0.5 now when he is disabled he's gonna be like this but if it's not disabled he's not gonna be like this and it we can click on it and make changes look true now we cannot do anything with this button